Next up, we have running back DeAndre Swift. He has missed most of camp so far with a sore groin. Ouch! Hey, man, when your groin hurts, there's only one, one way to make it feel better. What's that? Resting and doing nothing. Oh. And that's what he's doing, Jason. Gotcha. Okay. Well, Where do you think uh, I was going with that? Speaking of groins, uh, his coach has spoken a lot about a hot hand approach. Uh, and uh, really just going with whoever is... Uh, you know, having the better day. And it, he said that it would be hard to take Jamal out if he uh, gets hot. So they've gone from in the off season prior to acquiring Jamal, they've gone from saying he's going to have 25 touches a game and he's the workhorse to now talks of a one, two punch, a one, a one B potentially shared aspect thing going on here. I mean, what do you hot just for the record? Hot hands also help uh, an injured groin. I would just like to like to mention that as well. So, what do you think about DeAndre this season? I don't know. Um, This is uh, his coach is kind of crazy, Dan Campbell. Uh, In case you haven't read anything about him, you should go check out some of his quotes. Um, There's no way that they don't run the ball an absolute shit ton. There's just no way, right? Like the 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 way that he's talked, Jared Goff is their quarterback. We've talked about them not having any wide receivers on previous podcasts. Please check out the tight end podcast if you'd like to hear me and Jason try to name uh, two or three wide receivers for the Detroit Lions. Again, I still cannot do that. Um, <laughs> if you were to put me on the spot now, I, st- I literally still couldn't do it. Um. So they, they ran the ball the 29th most times last year. I would expect them to be in the top 10 of, of rush attempts this year. I just think based they on finish middle of the pack at best. Oh, really? I think that their team sucks and they're going to be down in every game and they won't be able to run. That might be true. Um, but I think the only way that they're going to be able to move the ball and, and it helps, right? The, the way that you beat the three teams in their division is by running the ball. Like, if you're going to beat the Bears, it's going to be on the ground. If you're going to beat the Packers, it's definitely on the ground. If you're going to beat the Vikings, it's going to be on the ground. So just right there, six games where they're going to run the ball a ton. And it's the, their divisional games are a little messy, but but you know, you get my point. I, I think he's going to run the ball 230 times this year-ish. Wow. Because I, I think they have to. That's the only way that they have a shot. And, you know, he's proven that he's a good receiving back out of the backfield. Um, He had three or more catches in every game that he played except for one last year. So that sets a relative. So even if they're behind. He's still going to be able to be productive through the air. And like, yes, you don't think Jamal Williams does anything to this. He'll be there. Okay. I mean, I, I think that they're going to have to give give them both a ton of work. Okay. I, I just think, I just think they have to. So even if Williams has, uh, let's say eight to 12 touches a game. Yeah. That puts him somewhere in the 130, 140 carry range. I still think that Deandre Swift is going to have 200 plus because they, they're just going to have to. Okay. Alex does. What did you do? What were you doing in 2013? Um, I just got my first full-time job. Okay. So eight years ago, you had just gotten your first full-time job. Uh, yeah, it was November of 2012. So, so just, just starting 2013, I was like an adult. Um, yeah. Okay. Wife lifts, girlfriend lifts. I was uh, sitting uh, sitting alone in my parents' bedroom constantly doing does nothing. It, does it feel like eons ago? Yeah, it was a completely different lifetime ago. Well, 2013 is the last time that the Detroit Lions had a running back rush for more than a thousand rushing yards. I think that ends this year. You think that ends this year? Yeah. 
All right. Well, as a bonus, can you name the running back in 2013 that went over a thousand yards? I think I can. It's Reggie Bush, right? It is Reggie Bush. A thousand and six. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It could happen. Could. Uh, there's, I mean, there's a non-zero chance where it doesn't happen. Like there's a world where there's, there's a greater than 0% chance that it's just a giant fiasco in that backfield and on that team, quite honestly. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I, I almost want to make it a board bet for us this year that DeAndre Swift would go over a thousand. A thousand uh, rushing or total? I th- I think he can get to a thousand rushing yards. Would you go eleven? Eleven hundred? Would you go eleven hundred? No. Okay. I don't know. Would you split it at ten five? No, just a thousand. They haven't done this since <sighs> nine years ago. The um, but it he would have to stay healthy. That'd be my only caveat. If he stays healthy, there's no reason why he won't have over a thousand yards. Yeah. Okay. Well, and with the added game, I just I don't, I don't want to take that. But oh, that's fair. Okay. Oh no, with the with the added game, I'll go ten fifty. That's fine. With the added game, will you go eleven? No. Ugh. All right. Uh, this is a silly board bet to make because I really do honestly think that I will lose it if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, you should lose every single one we do. But I don't want to make this one. So I refuse. Then don't make it. All right. Okay. I'm not doing it. I withhold. I stand strong. Because I think Handy. he goes over a thousand. I don't know. Well, call me whatever you want. I like being the one to make him because then I've, I feel strongly about something. I don't feel strongly about DeAndre Swift being the only weapon on a one weapon team. Like he's going to get a shit ton of work. He should anyway. He has to. He has to. I'd, I'd be shocked if he stayed healthy with it. But yeah. Ugh. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.